Hello, I'm Brian Atkinson and welcome once again to UK Aircraft Explored. In this video, we shall cover the de Havilland Mosquito NF Mark II Night Fighters engine startup sequence. We shall go step by step following the 1944 Air Ministry pilot's notes. I hope you find this interesting. Before entering the aircraft, check the pitot head cover on the tail fin is removed. Check that all cowling and inspection panels and hinge leading edges are secured. Also check tyres for creep. On entering the aircraft, check the security of the emergency escape hatch. Here are the required preliminaries for starting the engines and warming up. Switch on the electrical services switch. Then check the following. The voltmeter should show 24 volts if the battery is fully charged. Ensure the generator switch is on, that's if it's fitted. Undercarriage. Check that the emergency knob is in the normal position and the safety catch is engaged. Select a neutral, safety catch engaged and the warning lights are green. Air pressure. Normal pneumatic pressure is 200 pounds per square inch. Radiator flaps and automatic supercharger gear change will not operate below 150 pounds per square inch. Set the fuel cocks to outer tanks. Set the engine controls as follows. Throttles are half an inch open. Propeller speed controls are fully forward. Supercharger is set to mod. Radiator flap switches are set to closed. High volatility fuel should be used. The ground crew will work the priming pump until the fuel reaches the priming nozzles. This may be judged by a sudden increase in resistance. Switch on the ignition and press the starter and booster coil buttons. The ground crew will work the priming pump as rapidly and vigorously as possible while the engine is being turned. As soon as the engine is running satisfactorily, release the booster coil button and instruct the ground crew to screw down the priming pump. Close the priming cock and fasten the priming panel. Open the throttle slowly and warm up to 1,200 revs per minute. Now repeat the procedure for the other engine. When both engines are running, the radiator flap switches are set to open. While warming up, check temperatures and pressures. After warming up to 15 degrees centigrade for oil and 60 degrees centigrade for coolant, comprehensive checks should be made after repairs at the pilot's discretion. After warming up, check the operation of each engine driven hydraulic pump. Open up one engine to 2,000 revs per minute and lower and raise the flaps. Throttle back, open up the other engine to 2,000 revs per minute and again lower and raise the flaps. Failure of one engine driven pump will be indicated by sluggish movement of the flaps during one of these tests. With the starboard engine opened up to 2,000 revs per minute, check that the generator is charging. The voltmeter should now read 29 volts. Open up to plus 4 pounds per square inch boost and check the operation of the constant speed propeller. 
open throttle to the takeoff position and check takeoff boost and revs per minute should be 3000. Throttle back to plus 9 pounds square inch boost and test each magneto in turn. A single ignition drop should not exceed 150 revs per minute. Remember, prolonged ground running is likely to damage the exhaust system and should be avoided. With 150 grade fuel, idling the engines at low revs per minute will cause lead to deposit on the sparking parts. If all is well, it's time to taxi the aircraft. Well that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you like what I do on this channel, please click the like button and consider subscribing. And also ring the bell. Remember it's free and you'll receive notifications when my future videos are posted. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.